Um, she's. <laughs> I don't. I am dying to know what's going through your head right now. I'm sorry. I'm just so distracted. Okay, she's Kakara. I say, guys, I just saw Fantastic Four. I must say that it was pretty decent. I don't understand the severe bashing it got from fans and critics alike. It's not like they're. It's like they're punishing Josh Trank for not doing the next Star Wars film. I agree that it was not the greatest. I can't wait till we're off air when we find out what she's thinking. I made the climactic battle could have been extended a little more but apart from that it set out to tell what it was commissioned to do i.e tell a decent retelling of the f4 origins um yeah and i think i know what she's laughing about um uh, yes it, it involved me yes, it always <laughs> does. it's all your yeah. fault mark um here's the thing about fantastic and you know what i think you're right well number one i think you're wrong it wasn't a decent movie but it's all film <laughs> subjective so if that's if you got some enjoyment out of it that is awesome that is great uh, I don't think it was a decent movie um, at all. But you do raise an interesting point. I was having this discussion with a friend of mine the other day. Fantastic Four, I think almost across the board, a lot of us, I know, at least I know me, Dennis, Schnapp, I, I think you as well. I'm not sure about you. A lot of us are like, you know, the first half of the film, we're like, what's everybody complained about? This isn't all, all that bad, you know? And and then, the you know, the, the train comes off the track and everything derails and they fall off the wagon and, you know, it's just a bloody mess after that. But um, a lot of people are talking about it in terms, as if you hear a lot of people talk about it, you would think it belongs up there with, you know, Lady in the Water and, <laughs> and you know, Catwoman and stuff like that. And it doesn't. It actually doesn't because there are there are chunks of time in the movie, which usually, mostly at the beginning, that have some redeemable qualities that aren't bad. And so overall as a film, like I still gave it a, like a 3.5 or something. Still, uh, To me, it was still a bad film, but was it a legendarily awful film? No. So why are people talking about it in terms as if it's legendarily awful, like one of the worst pieces of garbage you've ever seen in your life? I think it has to do with a couple things. This is, this is just my theory on it, okay? Is that the other two Fantastic Four films are so disparaged, so badly. And a lot of people were predicting, me early on, but then I changed my prediction to a wrong one. Um, a lot of people were predicting a long time ago, well, if they're doing another Fantastic Four film, that's going to suck too. And so I think the fact that the previous two Fantastic Fours are so disparaged and so disliked, that fed a lot into if this movie failed on any level, it was going to get gang piled on. Then we, you know, the, the whole thing started coming up about a week before release when everybody realized Fox is hiding this film. Fox is hiding it. This must mean they hate it. This must mean they have no faith in it. And that whole story started to snowball. So when the movie turned out to be not good, we all jumped on it intensely. I still believe that Fantastic Four will not end up in my worst 10 films of the year list. I, I think there are, I can already think of a couple that I've seen which will rank lower than it. I think it might be in my worst 10 films of the year right now, barely. But I, I mean, I, I, it's a bad film, but I think those external elements the previous films, the, the all the drama that went on behind the scene, all this other stuff, and people will, were determined to really gang pile on this film if it turned out to be bad, and it did turn out to be bad, so Fantastic Four has nothing to blame but itself. Uh, I, I think that's it, but you know, I don't think it's the worst film ever made. Anyway, Mark, your well, thoughts? Well, fairly or not, it, you can also look at a movie and say it's bad, and then it becomes a legendarily bad film when the box office receipts come in, and it's such a yeah, horrible box bomb, office failure is another one. They put so much money into this project, and this is the time is ripe right now for comic book movies. You have an environment where you can be successful. Look at what Marvel and hopefully what DC is about to do with making great stories and telling these things and and making legions of fans for decades happy with what they're seeing on screen you had every chance to do that and for whatever reason it, it didn't just fail it blew this movie is not good at all the first half was okay and seeing the second half my litmus test for any comic book movie is like okay that maybe i didn't like it at least you set us up for a sequel and this did the opposite it made me not want to see any fantastic four incarnation which really is a shame because when you look at this as a team you put a great product on the field you had the players in place you had the right coach the right gm and it just failed miserably you bring up uh, two great points that i, I want to highlight because i just think you bang on yeah. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> but two history really clear yeah. i think I, I think you raise another great external point the box office failure part of it but also the fact that you know one of the things that gave me hope for it was that they had done such a great job as a studio with what they've been doing with x-men lately mm -hmm. you had a terrific academy award nominee academy award level at least nomination level cast you had a director who just directed you had 
all the tools. You can't blame somebody for making a bad cake if you gave them rotten ingredients. They had all the best ingredients here. Absolutely, that's a great point that I hadn't considered. Well, it's all of that for sure, and it's a, and it's it's the fact that right now, over the last couple of years, we're living in an age where um, the superhero movies have been Teflon for box office in the last two three years. Yeah. Um, you, with all the Marvel movies, and then like you guys said, with, with X Men, so the expectations were high, and we're also this movie was a gossip magnet. Oh yeah. And from everything you were hearing about it with like the beginning of it with casting the young cast and you were saying the Fantastic Four babies yep, and all against all it. that stuff and then the stuff with Trank behind the scenes before the movie even came out like all the rumors and then all it it just became more about the drama behind the scenes than it was about the actual movie but people were talking about. It. So then you start to really well was it is it really going to be a turd or is 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 it true is is it going to are they going to say no I remember how many people were rooting for it when I when when that announced announcement came out they were doing Fantastic Four 2 and I said there's no way it's going to happen if these rumors are true and and I and God bless all the fans who were Fantastic Four fans who wanted a great movie going no it's going to work you'll see and I was hoping I even changed my tune and hoping okay wait you know what maybe this turns out to just be one of those scenarios where the director didn't work necessarily with everyone on set but he's going to put something together that's great but then he the director tweets out that this is not the movie he wanted. That didn't yep. help. And nope. so more people, no, when gonna, you go to see the movie, Friday before it, it even comes <laughs> out, yeah. And then, so when that happens, then more people are going to start piling on. Because I agree, I think the beginning of it, and I said, I've even been called a madman for giving this movie uh, a higher score maybe than people thought I should. The beginning of it, there was a science fiction slash horror film that it was not a Fantastic Four movie. It would have been an okay cable movie. Um, but then it just like you said, it goes off the rails, it turns into a stink pile because of it's just a mess. It's a mess. So because of the high expectations and and everything that was involved, it, it was it was a punching bag. Yeah. 